settle loss. It just give us a 10,000 naira. I've been disturbed by SARS like let's say last two months from now and I had to pay like 30k. My name is Shegun Awosanya. I'm the convener of NSARS Reform Police NG. He said I must be a prostitute for being outside by that time. It was 8.30 in the evening. It was not even late. Out of nowhere, we see this unmarked car just parked, just went in front of us. And then one came to the front and asked me to come out of the car. And no explanations, nothing. They asked me to come out of the car and go into the car in front. One of them pulled out a gun and was like, stop or I fire you. You know, it looked like some kind of armed robbery at first because they didn't look like police officers. They were not dressed like police officers. They were dressed like thugs. These guys are not even interested in, I don't know, whatever job it is they're supposed to do, but they just wanted to hold someone. They just wanted to get someone to follow them. The history they have here, you don't, you don't, you don't want to really go with them because they're going to put the, they might put things on you that you didn't do. I started recording. I noticed another guy coming to the side. All of a sudden, the guy like hit me. I was scared at that point because this happened in broad daylight. If it was at night, with the stories we'd heard, the things that have happened with these guys, probably would have been a different story. And he pointed his gun at me, and he said he was going to hit me with it if I don't allow him to search me. So I didn't have a choice. There was barely anything I could have done at that point. He took my shirt off, unhooked my bra. He took my, he unbuttoned my trouser, pulled my waist bead, put his hand in my pants, said he was searching for drugs, that this is not the first time he will see drugs in, uh, he will see girls hide drugs like that. The public must be able to feel the pain of the person involved. We are simply saying things can be done better. It will not just end at imprisoning the people who contravened the law or who violated the person, but creating a policy that ensures that this, does, this doesn't happen again to any soul.